and here in the read state from the read state we are directly going into read enable now let's discuss about this w now let's discuss about these three states r enable write and write underscore p now let's discuss about this write state so during this write state the address that is the address is decoded and it is assigned to p address and the relevant p select signal is driven high and p write signal is will be equal to or it will be driven to 1 so during the write state the address is decoded and driven to p address the relevant p signal the relevant p select signal line is driven high and p write is driven high a wait state is not inserted as a single trans write transfer can complete without affecting the AHP. And if valid is equal to 1 and hash rate is equal to 0, we are in entering into read state. And coming to write underscore p state. So during this state, address will be given to p address. And the relevant P select signal will be high. And P write will also be equal to 1. So here, write underscore, in write underscore P state, the wait state is inserted as there must only ever be one pending transfer between the currently performed ABP transfer and currently driven AHB transfer. We are entering into this write underscore p when valid is equal to 1. So during this AHB, suppose this is APB and this is our bridge. So AHB is sending multiple data transfers to our bridge, multiple data, multiple packets to our bridge and bridge is sending it to APB. So there should be a wait state should be inserted between the multiple data transfers so to prevent the data loss or suppose if AHB is sending multiple packets of data to our bridge then APB requires some time to complete to complete or to process all the data items which has been sent to it. So say this is first packet, second packet and third, fourth. So if the a if the AHB sends the first packet and if APB is dealing with the first packet, then again the AHB sends the second packet. So since the APB is dealing with the first packet, so if the second packet arrives also, so if the second packet arrives, then it should be in inserted into a wait state so that APB completes its operation with the first packet and after that it can deal with the second packet and so on. So basically this write underscore P is called as pending write transfer. Pending write transfer state. Another state is R enable. We are directly entering from read state to R enable without any control signal. So during this state, coming to this R enable state, so during this state, P enable output is driven high, enabling the current APB transfer. All other APB outputs remain the same as a previous clock cycle. So during this R enable state, the P enable signal is driven high so that the APB can start with the transfers. We have already discussed it with about this P enable signal. So during this R enable state, P enable is driven high. And now let's go back to our state machine. So from this R enable, we are going to idle state if valid 
is equal to 0 or we are going to wh state if valid is equal to 1 and h right is equal to 1 that is a right transfer you can understand this obviously if right is equal to 1 and valid is equal to 1 then it should we should insert a wh state and from wait wh state if valid is equal to 1 it will go to right underscore p state or if valid is equal to 0 it will go to right state and here from the right state if valid is equal to 0 if valid is equal to 0 it will go to w enable state and if valid is equal to 1 then it will go to w enable p state now let's discuss about this w enable and w enable p states so during this w enable p state and coming to w enable state during this state p enable output is driven high enabling apb transfer all other apb outputs remaining remain same as the previous outputs so during this w enable signal during this w enable state p enable is driven high and all other apb outputs remain as it is so from w enable state from w enable state if valid is equal to 1 and h right is equal to 0 if valid is equal to 1 and h right is equal to 0 then it will go to read state and if valid is equal to 0 then it will go to ideal state and in case of w enable p state if valid is equal to 0 and h right is equal to 1 now from this right underscore p state we will be entering into right underscore enable underscore p directly and from this w enable p state we are entering into read state if h right is equal to 0 so this is all about the state diagram of ahb2 app bridge let me draw a clear diagram of this so after system reset that is h reset n we are entering into ideal state and if valid is equal to 0 then we are staying in ideal state only and if valid is equal to 1 and h right is equal to 1 then we are going into wh state and if valid is equal to 1 and h right is equal to 0 then we are going into read state and from here if valid is equal to 0 then we are going into write state and if valid is equal to 1 then we are going into write underscore pending followed by w enable pending and from the right state we are entering into w enable p if valid is equal to 1 and if valid is equal to 0 and h right is equal to 1 then we are going to right state and from right state if valid is equal to 0 then we are going to w enable and if h right is equal to 0 We are going to read
and from w enable if h right is equal to 0 and valid is equal to 1 then we are going to read state and from read state we are directly going into our enable state and from our enable if valid is equal to 0 we are going into idle state And if valid is equal to 1 and h right is equal to 0, valid is equal to 1 and h right is equal to 0, we are going to read state. So, this is the state diagram. Of HP2 APB bridge, we will get more clarity when we do coding of this bridge. So that's all about for today's video. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, please please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching this video.